Yes, absolutely. And can I just quickly say, it was Nick Hannigan before when I forgot the guy's name who's come up with the cancer treatment. It's my own name. That's what makes it even stupid. <laughs> Shout out to Nick Hannigan. So, yeah, the Metro has kids to explore eating bugs to gauge appetite for alternative protein. This is where it begins. It's the WEF. You will you own nothing and you'll be happy and you'll eat bugs. It's just a... So apparently they're very good for you, right? And, mm. and I am a vegetarian, so I wouldn't do this in it. But even if I weren't a vegetarian, I'm not going to be eating bugs. Are you right? part of the World Economic Forum, Andrew? That's what they'll be saying on Twitter. They're already Typical saying Typical Doyle. It. See, if people don't know what I'm talking about, the World Economic Forum is always pushing these crazy ideas like you'll own nothing and you'll be happy, you'll live in a cold room eating bugs and so on. I'm paraphrasing. But the own nothing and be happy was one of their videos. And lockdowns are good is one of the, another thing they said. This is all part of that. Now, this is, it's, it's, it's in Wales, so it hasn't come to England yet, but it's four primary schools in Wales. And they, they've left out in this article to try and make it sound less gross that it's actually crickets, grasshoppers, silkworms, mealworms, uh -oh. locusts, if it wasn't <laughs> biblical enough for you. And, uh, and, and this is... It, I, uh, look, it's, so school dinners are bad enough. Can I, exactly. eating mealworm. And... Can, can I just quickly say, they're trying to justify it in this article, which is in the Metro. They're going, across Europe, eating alternative sources of protein like insects is already the norm. That's why we left, bro. Do you know what I mean? And then... <laughs> OK, so just, to, just one more, one more thing. Edible insects are, n are not solely widely in the UK, but they form part of the diet of around 2 billion people worldwide. Yeah, it's called the third world. Also... How many birds were 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 brought wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's I don't unfair. Mean That's unfair. No, we don't want to eat no, bugs. Is what I'm saying. Have, some right. Some uh, uh, countries which are very wealthy eat bugs. They're considered a delicacy. A lot of people do eat. I wouldn't eat them, right, Nick? But I just think the fact that you're dismissing the the eating of bugs. What's the difference really between eating a bug and eating a cow? It's just a bigger animal. Well, what? no, Diane. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I mean, kids as well. I think it's kind of funny that they're making kids do it. They're supposed they're to They're experimenting like, on kids first. They are. They're supposed to read the hungry caterpillar, not eat it. Thank you. <laughs> do you know what, though? I mean, I, I don't think it's that bad. Night. I wouldn't personally do it, but I, I think other people should. But here's because it's, yeah. it's, <laughs> because it's probably it's probably be better for the world. It's good for the environment. It's good for individuals. I wouldn't do it. But I think they should do it. And also, by the way, apparently, according to this article, we're always doing it. We're doing it anyway. Don't, don't. Yeah, wait, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. La, in every 100-gram bar of chocolate, no. there are at least 30 pieces of insect already. You're already eating it. That's the propaganda. Andrew, you're <laughs> talking about a choice. What's going to happen, though, is you won't have the choice. You'll start off, oh, there's an option. Oh, do you want a grasshopper? It's just an option. We're just feeding it to your kids. Nothing sinister. A few years down the line, you won't be allowed steak. I know you're a vegetarian anyway. But you won't be allowed meat. All you'll be allowed is a grasshopper or Bill Gates's synthetic. Meat. So Nick Dixon there with his usual conspiratorial flair. <laughs>